Okay, hello everybody and, and hello Herbert. Thank you for joining us. Hello um, Joanna, it's my, my pleasure to be with you today. Yeah, and once again, I want to thank you for uh, giving a webinar back in April just for all Taiwanese teachers. That That's very special for us. Thank you also for um, agreeing to share with us uh, or kind of like remind the teachers some of their Q&A, uh, their questions, which I think most of them you, you did answer uh, in real time during the webinar, but I think it would be a good reminder, especially in a kind of like a back to school session uh, for us to review some of your great thoughts. For me, that was very insightful. Thank you. Well, um, uh, welcome, uh, dear colleagues in, in Taiwan to this Q&A session. Um, I would like to thank you very, very much for your uh, interesting questions. Um, and um, uh, just to, to make this clear, I'm talking here from my study in my home in Austria. So Joanna has got, I've prepared a PowerPoint. Joanna's got the PowerPoint and she's going to share the PowerPoint now. And um, I will have to ask you, Joanna, to switch to the next slides whenever it's uh, needed. As I've said, um, uh, thanks so much for your excellent uh, questions. In fact, Joanna, if we go to the next slide, um, we can see I've prepared a bunch of flowers for you all <laughs> for thinking deeply and coming up with such interesting questions. Well, actually, here are the questions that we didn't manage to answer in the live webinar. Joanna, please go to the next slide. Number three, a balance between developing language skills, English skills, and developing the positive mindset without giving them too much stress. That is a, a key point. So um, what I would like to say here is that students, of course, um, have a lot of stress too. It's not just teachers that feel stressed. Stress is, stress is actually quite common in teens, sometimes also in children. And um, the main stress factor with teens are, for example, worries about school, their family, their friendships, their relationships, their future, and the world. And, and, and common behavioral outcomes with teenagers, if they have too much stress, um, they show lack of sleep, overeating or undereating, eating unhealthy foods sometimes, and feeling, feeling exhausted, feeling tired, feeling angry, feeling nervous, uh, things like that, okay? So let's have a look at the next slide, please. Um, I think we need to show our learners that we take their stress seriously, okay? Um, so let's not let's not say, ah, you you don't have stress, you know what 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 do you know about stress, right? So let's take their stress seriously and and let's go on. next slide, please. Uh, a number of suggestions here, okay? Um, let's be empathetic. Let's show them when they say, well, they're stressed, for example, because they would like to, to write a good test, but they're making mistakes. Um, let's show them that we understand their situation and, and let's say, well, you know, I mean, um, you will see the, the more you practice, the, the better your English becomes. And it takes time. I, I know that from myself. When I learn something new, it takes time and we do make mistakes and that's quite normal. Okay. Um, sorry, the, the formatting is a bit uh, chaotic on this slide. Okay. Teens, of course, can be a bit reluctant to talk about themselves. We know that, okay? So what I do is, for example, I 
get them to talk about content that is not directly related to their situation. So if you have students, for example, teenage students who, whose English is already better, you might um, talk about, um, if that's possible, get them to do some research, search about teens and stress in other countries, and then ask them to repeat that, to read those texts and compare the situation with their own. If that is not possible, um, um, you could ask them about other people they know, adults, and when adults feel stressed and what helps to reduce um, uh, stress, et cetera, et cetera. Um, a positive thoughts journal can help with stress. For example, write at least 100 words every day on something positive, okay? That seems a lot first, maybe 100 words, oh no. But they actually, um, uh, they can do that quite quickly. And if it becomes a habit, then it has a very positive effect also on their writing. What gives them positive energy, a place they like, a person who gives them a lot of support. We can also use other stress busters. Tell a joke in English occasionally. Um, uh, share something that happened to you recently, a good thing that happened to you recently, some, some positive experience you made, and ask them to share some positive experiences, um, et cetera, et cetera. Play games occasionally. That's my answers to question number three. Let's have a look at question number four.